What's wrong with you guys? Well, your guy, uh, Joe Manganiello, <laughs> who is a lovely person, and not just because he is a big Steelers fan. Yeah. I think that that's the challenge, is to create a bubble where I can be a normal person. It's so, like, I don't even know why I live with them anymore. While divorce is common in Hollywood, what if I told you that Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello are getting divorced because one likes to party and drink with no time left for taking care of kids, while the other hates drinking and wants to have kids? That's right, the Modern Family star and the Magic Mike actor are calling it quits after seven years of realizing it is never going to work because they didn't spend enough time together to ask each other important questions before saying, I do. In this video, we'll tell you the weird reasons they decided to split, the content of their prenup, their joint divorce statement, how they're coping with the breakup, and what this means for their future projects. This is a huge story that has rocked Hollywood and the fans of this power couple. You don't want to miss any trending juicy details, so watch until the end of this video. Trust me, you'll be surprised by some of the things we will reveal about this cute couple's love life. Let's get into it. Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello are two of Hollywood's most successful and attractive actors. Sofia is best known for her role as Gloria in the hit sitcom Modern Family, while Joe is famous for his roles in Magic Mike, True Blood, and Justice League. They met in 2014 at a White House correspondence dinner and sparks flew immediately. They got engaged six months later and tied the knot at a lavish Palm Beach wedding in 2015 with over 400 guests. The duo has been one of Hollywood's most admired and envied couples for a long time. They seem to have it all fame, fortune, beauty, and love. They were always gushing about each other in interviews and on social media, and they looked like they had the perfect marriage. But as we all know, appearances can be deceiving. Behind the scenes, things were not as rosy as they seemed. According to sources close to the couple, Sophia and Joe had very different personalities and lifestyles that eventually drove them apart. Sophia, for example, is a fun-loving, party-going girl who likes to drink and socialize with her friends and family. On the other hand, Joe is a sober, serious guy who prefers to stay home and play video games or read comic books. He also strongly desires to have children, which Sophia is content with her only grown-up son Manolo from her previous marriage. These differences became more apparent and problematic as time went on. They started to argue more frequently over trivial things and stopped spending quality time together. They also prioritized their work over their relationship. They grew apart emotionally and physically and realized they were no longer compatible. But we didn't know until it was too late. We all noticed the first sign of trouble when on July 10, 2023, Sophia celebrated her 51st birthday in her favorite restaurant in Italy without Joe by her side. Fans with eagle eyes also noticed that Sophia didn't wear her wedding ring in any of the photos and videos she posted on Instagram from her birthday trip. In the comments section of a video posted on July 11th, which showcased Sophia enjoying a serenade, a fan jokingly popped the important question on everyone's mind, where's Joe, holding the dog, lol. Sophia uploaded more than 20 photos from her new birthday vacation, and the question everyone kept asking was, where's Joe? A particular instance is a July 11th post in which Sophia stood between a man, Alejandro Aysen, and a woman, both of whom she referred to as best friends. She captioned the post, So lucky to have my best friends in my favorite restaurant on my favorite island. While fans wondered where Joe was and why he wasn't in any of Sophia's birthday pictures, Joe was busy with divorce plans. And so, on July 10th, Sophia's birthday, Joe posted a picture of himself and Sophia to wish the Modern Family actress a simple, happy birthday. Given the choice of picture and the caption Joe wrote, fans could tell that trouble is brewing in the Manganello mansion. As rightly observed by a fan, of all the pictures that Sophia and Joe took together during their seven years together, Joe chose a low-quality, not-so-romantic picture. A fan commented, Men, you picked the lowest-quality picture ever. Apart from the poor quality of the picture, the caption also says it all. Joe captioned the picture, Feliz cumpleaños, Sophia, which translates to, Happy birthday, Sophia. The caption is way too cold and unromantic, just as a fan rightly noted while asking, Joe, I hope you guys are okay. That was a very different, cold, happy birthday wish to your wife compared to previous ones. Well, Sophia may not have seen Joe's birthday felicitation, or she may have deliberately ignored it because she didn't bother thanking him. 
Instead, in a July 15 Instagram post, she hinted to her fans that she's facing some personal difficulties as she captioned the post, When life gives you lemon you, come to Italy to squeeze them. By this time, we can all sense that all is not well. A few hours after she posted the picture, the couple jointly told Page Six that they decided to split. A joint statement released by the two read, We've made the difficult decision to divorce. As two people that love and care for one another very much, we politely ask for respect of our privacy at this time as we navigate this new phase of our lives. Two days later on the 17th, Joe Manganiello officially filed for the dissolution of his seven-year-old marriage. Sophia didn't take any action but waited exactly two weeks before responding to the divorce filing. According to the divorce documents, the two estranged lovers had been living separately since June 30th due to irreconcilable differences. Let's talk more about these differences that drove the two apart. According to sources close to the couple, these differences include clashes between individual personalities and tastes, differences of opinion over having children together, and rumors of infidelity. Oh, another thing is the seven-year-long legal battle between Sophia and her ex-boyfriend Nick Loeb. Remember we said earlier that Sophia has a party-going, fun-loving personality? Joe, on the other hand, likes to be sober and clear-headed. It is quite understandable that it will be hard for such two conflicting personalities to maintain a strong bond. Another important detail these two grown-ups did not discuss during their first six months of meeting each other and another ten months of being engaged was the issue of having children. Joe Manganiello desperately wanted children, and who can blame the 46-year-old? Joe hoped that if Sophia could not endure the stress of carrying their children in her belly, they could at least opt for surrogacy. However, Sophia would have none of it as she is no longer interested in having any children. She already has a child, a 31-year-old Manolo Gonzalez Vergara, who she gave birth to at 19 with her ex-husband, who happens to be named Joe as well. However, the 51-year-old modern family actress was not interested in going through pregnancy or surrogacy at her age, and Joe Manganiello ought to have known better because this is not the first time Sophia would opt out of a relationship due to the pressure of raising children. Nick Loeb is a businessman and politician who dated Sophia from 2010 to 2014. The two underwent IVF together in 2013, creating two embryos they planned to use for their future family. However, they broke up in 2014 after Sophia refused to have children with him. Since then, Nick has been suing Sophia for custody rights over their frozen embryos. He wants to implant them in a surrogate and raise them as his children. Nick claims that his embryos or children have a right to live, while Sophia argues that since they're no longer together, she can't have children with him, so the embryo should be destroyed. The problem is that because of the contract they both signed at the fertility clinic, none of them can do anything with or to the embryos without the other person's approval. Hence a legal battle that has gone on for seven years. Shouldn't Joe Manganiello and Sophia have discussed such an important topic before saying I do? It seems love, at first sight, is not only blind but also deaf. And finally, there were also rumors of infidelity and jealousy on both sides. Some sources claimed that Sophia had cheated on Joe with her Modern Family co-star Ed O'Neill. Rumors also claimed that Joe had a fling with his Deathstroke co-star Amber Heard, who was going through her divorce from Johnny Depp at the time. Neither of them ever confirmed or denied these allegations, but they may have added more strain to their relationship. Whatever the reason for their divorce, they seem to have decided and are ready to move on with their lives. In their prenup, they agree to share their assets and income and not pay each other any spousal support. So there you have it. Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello are getting divorced because of differences in personality, conflicting opinions on having children, rumors of infidelity, and the error of Sofia's past, which continues to haunt her present and future relationships. Didn't Joe know that Sofia's a fun-loving, party-going drinker? Was Joe not aware that Sofia doesn't want children?